Amazon plans to start accepting Bitcoin by the end of this year, according to an anonymous insider. This rumor, coupled with a massive short squeeze last night, shot the Bitcoin price up from around $33,000 to forty thousand dollars currently it's sitting at thirty nine thousand two ninety one which is about a 19 percent rise in the bitcoin price binance futures even saw a candle wick that went up as high as forty eight thousand dollars during this run-up but it is not all butterflies and rainbows today as we got injected with some fud coincidentally at the perfect time the breaking news says that tether executives are facing criminal bank fraud charges this report is of course being conveniently reported by none other than bloomberg the same media outlet that continued to report the fud over china so what does this all mean for bitcoin this week well that's what we're going to talk about in today's video let's dive in Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive into today's analysis. So on Friday's video, we told you guys that we were looking to take entries on a long position here, long leveraged position here above $33,000. So we're looking for a break above this channel, which was at that $33,000 mark. You guys can see here that once we broke that 33K level, we went up as high as $40,000 currently sitting at around 39,250. So that's a move of about 19% profit, guys, if you took this without leverage. It's a 19% profit if you took it without leverage. If you use, let's say 10X leverage, which is usually more or less what we average using, that's 190% in profit on that move, guys. If you entered at $33,000 and rolled it up to where it currently is right now, which is around that 39,200 level guys. So if you missed this trade, do not worry because in today's video, we will give you guys some new trades that we're watching and that we're looking to take this week. All right. So looking here at what happened as far as price action goes, you see that we got the break here above 33,000, which was that channel where basically the top of this channel was ever since it's been holding us back, right? So you can go all the way back to May when we first had the initial drop. And except for this right here, we've basically been getting rejected by this resistance level here continuously until yesterday when we finally got that breakout. So now that tells us a couple of things. One, it tells us that this was indeed a falling wedge and not a descending channel. Secondly, this gets us above this Fibonacci level, which we've been rejected by many, many times here. The 50% Fibonacci level. If you guys look at it, this is where we continue to getting rejected. That's why with this candle alone, I was like, it's nice that we got that break, but I need to see follow through in this move to be more convinced. And that's exactly what we got here today with the biggest candle that we've seen in probably like two months or so at around 10.75% right now. So now we've entered back into this zone right here. Lovely, lovely zone, way better than this zone down here. So now the bottom that we could be seeing within this range is around $35,000 and the top is going to be that $42,000 where of course we've been rejected there many times over. That's basically the main level that we're looking at, right? So we're looking at 40,000 of course. You'll see that we actually went up to 40,000 before getting pushed back down and we're currently right at that level. And then that next main level, which I believe is basically the line in the sand that 
crosses over between bullish sentiment and bearish sentiment. 42 will be the biggest number for me to see us get over. I believe that a move above 42 could potentially send us up into this level and potentially send us up to that 48 to possibly even $50,000 range. And I think that we would get a move just as fast as we got this move today. So if we take a look back into history, you'll see that the day that we got over 42,000, we had a 19% candle and that led us basically to this new high here that we set at the time, which was, which was around 58,500. Now, I'm not saying that if we get above 42, we're going directly up to 58 or 60, but I believe that if we get uh, above 42, we will get back in this range right here, which is between that 48 to $50,000 level. I believe that brings back all the bullish sentiment and that takes us out of all these bearish case scenarios that we've been facing um, with the bullish sentiment on top of it, with the bearish patterns, bearish price action. So all of this put together, I think gives us, puts us back in that $50,000 range. And we could potentially at that point be looking to possibly retest that previous all time high, especially if Tesla, like Elon said last week, Tesla is eventually going to start accepting Bitcoin again. Once they announce that, Bitcoin is again going to take off. So if we're able to, to get back to that forty-eight dollars to $50,000 area, even if we could just get above this $42,000 area and start trading within this range here, that is a very, very bullish case scenario. And then if we, let's say, stayed there until Tesla reported or announced that they're accepting Bitcoin again, then I believe that would take us, you know, from this range here, it'll pop us up into this range. And the top of this range here is the previous all time high. So that's when we would see new all time highs and we could be potentially just kind of trading within that range there. And then let's say that Amazon officially announces that they will be indeed accepting Bitcoin payments. Then you can expect another move up possibly to like the 80,000, possibly more at that point. Right? So that's a very, very bullish case scenario, obviously for the end of the year, but I mean, that's what it's looking like if, you know, if this, all this, all of this happens, right? Remember, we also have the August 4th date, which is when we will be getting the update for Ethereum. So that's also going to be very, very bullish for Ethereum. If we look at Ethereum here, you'll see that we're back to this range where we were here previously. So we're just under this Fibonacci level. That's right around that 24 to $2,500 area. So on a break above this, then we could be expecting to retest that $3,000 range. I definitely, if we, if we keep pushing up, which I believe will happen, uh, leading up to that August 4th date, as you can see here, uh, August 4th, we're just over a week away from that. Um, so that would happen next week. And I believe that this week leading up to it is when we will see Ethereum pushing up higher. Uh, we could potentially retest that $3,000 area in Ethereum and possibly beyond depending what Bitcoin does. Now, of course, nothing only goes up. There is pullbacks are usually expected here. So the levels that I'm looking at for pullbacks are $38,000. The next level below that is going to be 36, but that's a smaller area. It's going to be more around that 35 range. So probably between 34 to 36 would be that that range where we could possibly expect some sort of pullbacks, you know, before continuation up. Remember, prices don't just go green all the time, right? We don't just go up. Unfortunately, we should expect some pullbacks maybe down to 38. If we get under 38, then 36 and 35 are those next levels there before continuing up. Now, trade setups that we are going to be watching for this week. That first breakout level that we're looking at is $40,000, guys. 40K, you'll see that we got rejected right at 40K, basically. If I see a break of 40,000, I am entering a long position there, a long leverage position. I'm risking probably around one to 2% on this trade, probably maybe 1.5% will I'll meet, I'll kind of just stick to the middle right there between those two, average it out 1.5% risk on this one. What now where I'm taking my bigger position, I'm thinking around four, three to 4% 4 risk will be above $42,000 guys. 
this I'm going to the high end of my um, of my risk, you know, my position size. So there at this point, I'm looking to risk around three to four percent on this trade if we see a break above forty two thousand dollars. Now, on any pullbacks, we're looking to re enter here at that thirty eight thousand dollar level, which we've been able to re enter today, last night and today, as we saw some pullbacks here. If you go into the four hour, you'll see that we've retested this thirty eight thousand dollar level multiple times at this point. So these are the perfect candles to enter on those pullbacks. So every time it's pulled back under thirty eight, we've entered when it's bounced back over 38. So if you would have been able, if you've been catching that, you would have been able to catch it at least two or three times by now, that same trade and basically just printing money. So we will be looking to enter that same trade. And if it goes lower than that, then the next level that we're looking to enter on a bounce would be at $35,000. Now in Ethereum, we're looking to enter a trade above this Fibonacci level, which is more or less around that $2,500. So at 2,500, if I see the price break out above 2,500, I am going to be entering a long uh, leveraged entry there. And I'm planning on trying to write it up to the top of this range up here. Now, of course, make sure that you are uh, practicing proper risk management and trailing properly and uh, taking profits along the way. Don't just enter and, you know, close your eyes and hope for the, for the price to go directly up to 3000 because it just doesn't work that way. If we see any type of pullbacks here in Ethereum, then I'm looking for entries probably around that $2,200 area. And the second entry would be closer to that $2,000 area. Now, I don't think we're gonna see 2000 again, but uh, 2200 is definitely a possibility. And that will be, you know, I'm looking for the price to go under it and then bounce back up. Once it bounces back up is when I'm entering. So those are the trades that we're watching this week in Ethereum. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's been an incredible weekend, definitely. And hopefully we get now an incredible week and continue this run good and this run up to uh, hopefully some new levels that we haven't seen in a while. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those questions for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell as well. Thank you guys so much for your time and for sticking around to the end of this video. Hopefully we make some profits this week. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.